Welcome to the PlayStation Eye troubleshooting video. In this video, we'll be covering three different things that could be causing issues with your PlayStation Eyes. Open up USB to view and check to make sure that the cameras are showing up. If one or both of the cameras aren't showing up, try out some different USB ports around the computer to make that work. Under service name, they should have libusb0, and if they don't have libusb, that could mean you have to go back to Zadig and reinstall the drivers. But even if you have libusb here, sometimes it doesn't show up in the PS Move service. This can be fixed by doing the following. Open up Zadig and select list all devices. Go to interface 0 of your first camera, and change the target driver to libusbk, click replace driver. Once this is done, you're going to click up one and reinstall libusb win32. For whatever reason, this actually fixes most problems. So if you're having that problem on the other camera as well, be sure to scroll down to that camera and do the exact same thing. After this, it's a good idea to head back into USB to view and check that your cameras have the correct driver. And as you can see, they have libusb win32 on both cameras. So now if you run test camera, they should both show up. If not, you can try restarting your computer, moving them around to different USB ports, and repeating the same Zadig method of going to libusbk and then going back to libusb win32. I hope that fixed your problem. If not, and you want to just start over the whole process, right click on usb view.exe and run as administrator. And once that opens up, sort by vendor ID. The vendor ID of PlayStation Eyes is 1415 and the product ID is 2000. So basically, I have a lot of different drivers here so you can select all of the ones that have that ID on them and right click on that and click uninstall selected devices. This will basically let you start off with a clean slate. Let's say you did all that, and when you run test camera, you see the number of devices. But for whatever reason, not all the devices' connections load up. This is a USB bandwidth issue. And what this basically means is you have too many devices plugged into the same USB hub on your motherboard. So ways to fix this are, for example, plugging one camera into the front of the computer and one into the back, or buying a USB expansion card and plugging one camera into that. This is more of a problem when you get to three and four camera configurations, but for two, hopefully no one had this problem. Now we're going to quickly touch on pose calibration issues. All these issues can be fixed by placing your cameras up higher and making sure that they are not flat with the calibration mat, as this seems to be a common occurrence. So make sure your cameras are up high, higher towards the ceiling than the floor, and aiming down at your tracked area, and this will fix your pose calibration issues, hopefully. If not, be sure to leave a comment down below, and I will be sure to reply to everyone. Thank you so much for watching this PlayStation Eye troubleshooting video. I hope it helps out.